Unreinforced masonry buildings are older brick buildings that are especially dangerous, prone to collapse and damage in earthquakes. We know that there are over a thousand of these buildings in Seattle and we expect that there are thousands more throughout Washington State. So how do you find out if it's an unreinforced masonry brick building? The most common feature is classic red brick. A red brick is typically eight inches long, about two inches tall, and about four inches thick. After you've identified a building that has red brick, the next thing to look for is a header course. A header course is present in a wall where you see the brick ends in a row, the narrow end of the bricks, as opposed to the long edge of the bricks. These header course rows occur every five to six courses and sometimes produce a noticeable striping effect on the building. However, sometimes the bricks on end can be scattered around instead of in rows. Because of the way unreinforced masonry is built, often you'll see the flat arched window, such as this, that's characteristic of the URM construction. Some buildings with round arch windows may be URMs, but be sure to look for other evidence if there are round arched windows. Another sign that a building is a URM is the presence of rows of bolt heads. Sometimes the washers are square plate washers and sometimes they're decorative rosettes. This building doesn't look like a URM, but maybe we should look at the side. But when we come to the side of the building in the alley or the back, we see header courses and low arched windows, sure signs that it's a URL.